Guess who's back? What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we're going to be discussing what the crap happened last night on Smackdown Live. My boy Dolph Ziggler has returned, ladies and gentlemen, from his comedic tours. He's been on comedy tours for a few months now. I think the last time we saw him may have been like December or January. I can't, I can't even remember. Maybe the Royal Rumbles, maybe the last time that we saw him. I, I honestly can't remember. I think he was like number two or three um, left in the in the Royal Rumble, maybe fourth. Seeing almost Braun Strowman, Seth Rollins, and Dolph Ziggler with the final four in the Royal Rumble. I believe that's the last time we saw him. I, again, could be wrong about that. But here he was last night, guys, returning to SmackDown Live, where he is best known, where he where he made very good strides in 2016. And I love him on SmackDown Live. I think it fits him better. It fits his character better. It just, you know, it just goes better with my man Ziggler. So last night we had a match going on between Kofi Kingston and Samuel Zayn in the ring. Very solid matchup. I think Kofi Kingston's been putting on some pretty good matches this champion, man. I, I don't know. He, he's just been doing really well as a singles competitor. I actually liked him a lot more as a singles competitor when he first came into WWE. I used to love him, man. I thought he was terrific, and then they put him in the New Day, and I was like, geez, man, what what the hell? I like Kofi as a singles, man. He, he reminded me a lot of Shelton Benjamin, but Shelton Benjamin was never gifted the WWE Championship like I wanted. But anyways, Sami Zayn and Kofi Kingston have a great match. You know, Kofi Kingston's shown in the ring. Paul Heyman comes out with the Money in the Bank briefcase. You know, he's talking and whatever. And then out of nowhere, my boy Dolph Ziggler comes out of nowhere in his hoodie and his skinny jeans and his converses, and he's just beating the dog crap out of Kofi Kingston, just beating him down in the middle of the ring, just assaulting the hell out of the man, just a strike after strike after strike. Uh, the, the beatdown would continue out to the announce table area. He would get a chair, put it on Kofi's throat, throw it into the announce table. He would stomp on him and beat the hell out of him and st like stomp his neck. It kind of looked brutal, man. Like he he brutalized Kofi Kingston and I I was marking out. I, I was I was just, I was completely dumbfounded and speechless. It took me a minute to even grasp what the hell was going on. I, I was completely just shocked. But I do have a few feelings about this. While I am hyped as hell because I've missed Dolph Ziggler, as you guys know, he's one of my favorite wrestlers in the entire world. He's one of my favorites of all time. Like the, the MDT logo and the, and the channel colors and everything, like everything that revolves around the channel and everything like that is mimicked by Dolph Ziggler's colors back in the day with the zebra print and the steel time font and the blue and the yellow and the pink. But he comes out there, he assaults Kofi Kingston and he obviously he's immediately heel, which is fine with me. I, I prefer him as a babyface, but I can get behind him as a heel. I like that he's not with anybody right now. I don't want him with Drew McIntyre. I don't want him with anybody. I don't want him with, you know, Trashley. I don't I don't want him with McIntyre. I don't want him with Corbin. I want him to do this thing by himself. So when he comes out and he assaults Kofi, I was super happy that, you know, nobody else showed up. Unless he's just, you know, with Brock Lesnar or something, we, we just don't know, which is not the case at all. I was just stating facts. But anyways, later on in the show, he would explain his actions, and this is where this is where it kind of fell off for me, because after he attacked Kofi, I was like, this is amazing, and like, I love this push, and hopefully, you know, it goes somewhere. Like, oh my God, he's been gone for so long. They, they have done this to me his entire career. While he has had championship opportunities, while he has, you know, grasped, the brass ring. He's one of the best in-ring performers in the world. I, I believe he is that good. WWE or Vince McMahon loves to do this thing where they take Dolph Ziggler and they push him and they make it seem like he's going to be this big star. They make it seem like he's going to win the championship and then he never does. He can never win the WWE title. He never wins the big one. Um, every time he has won the big one, his his championship reigns haven't meant that much and I, I just I, I, I have some worries about this and I think they are confirmed given that we are going to be getting a matchup between Kofi Kingston and Dolph Ziggler at Super Showdown in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. And this is my fear, and, and I know it to be true now after that announcement. I believe that they're going to just feed Dolph Ziggler to Kofi Kingston just to extend his championship reign that much longer. I think that they're going to have this, this big deal where, the, where they bring Dolph Ziggler back, and you know, he's been off, he's been doing his comedic, comedic tours, and he's been doing what he's wanted to do, and so they were like, come back, we'll give you a championship opportunity with Kofi, and you know, we're going to do you like we always do, we're going to give you a championship opportunity, but you're not going to win, you're not even going to come close, you're going to put on a great matchup with Kofi, and then, and then you're going to lose ultimately, 
and that will be it. And then you'll go over to SmackDown Live and not do a John Brown thing. I think that's what they're going to do to the man, and it's sad to see, but I think that's what they're going to do. After he assaulted Kofi later on, he would come out and he would explain why he attacked Kofi, and it was a very good promo. I like the passion behind it. Dolph Ziggler's always been good at promos and stuff of that nature, especially when he gets passionate. I, that's why I like him as a babyface, because his, his ability to cut a passionate promo and to, you know, uh, get... You know, be the underdog is very strong in WWE. The way he is able to act like an underdog is his verbiage and his, you know, his dialogue and stuff like that that he uses when he's cutting a promo is very, very underdogish. But as a heel, he can do it too. He's done it multiple times here. He, you know, he sort of was playing the victim card like, like a heel here. And he talked about, you know, this is supposed to be me. I wish it would have been a little bit more fiery, but it was more of emotion. It was more of sadness and, you know, disappointment that he's not in that position that Kofi is, you know, the. He's been here longer than Kofi Kingston, and he's never had this opportunity, and that should have been him. When Mustafa Ali went down with injury, I can't believe they actually addressed that on TV. I don't know if they've addressed that until now. I could be wrong about that, but he said, that should be me. This should be me in this position. I should have, you know, been a star in the chamber. I should have went on to WrestleMania and beat Daniel Bryan. This is, should all be me, and he attacked Kofi, and that stuff writes itself. You know, I could, I could easily write that storyline. That, that makes a lot of sense to me. It's very easy to book because it's, you know, he's been here a long time. He has been in this position just like Kofi. He's worked his butt off. He's been one of the better performers on the roster, not given his, you know, immediate chance, and I think that, you know, it's totally works in this situation. I just hate that, you know, he's going to be buried by Kofi. Not buried in the literal sense that that bad, but he's going to be beaten like he has in past attempts. But Dolph Ziggler is back, and I'm actually interested to see, you know, if, if which they're not. I mean, if they were to put the title on Dolph Ziggler, it would completely mark out, but I don't think. The only way that Dolph Ziggler were to walk out as champion is maybe Brock Lesnar tries to cash in his Money in the Bank contract. He comes out, he beats the hell out of Kofi Kingston, maybe hits him with an F5, and then, you you know, the matchup isn't over per se, and then Ziggler comes out of nowhere and wins the WWE Championship. I'm not sure if they would do that. I highly doubt they would, but it would go, it would call for a nice swerve. Maybe Brock comes in to cash in on Kofi, and Ziggler gets the best of, uh, you know, Brock throws him out of the ring, one, two, three, Roman Reigns on at the MDT Royal Rumble style. Doubtful, but, you know, anything is possible, I guess. But I'm very happy that Dolph Ziggler's back, guys. I, I really am, and I think it's fantastic to see him here. He looks great. I can't wait to see him in some new wrestling gear. Maybe we can get some new customs going. And a lot of people actually ask me, they're like, MDT, why don't you push Dolph Ziggler on MDT Live? You, you, you pretty much treat him the same way WWE does. And to answer that, guys, I honestly, when I started the pick fed, I didn't want it to be obvious that Dolph Ziggler would be the winner of everything. Everybody knows he's one of my favorite wrestlers. It's kind of like... Uh, you know, John Cena, it's kind of like, you know, Seth Rollins and Finn Balor and other guys. You don't want it to be so obvious that, you know, people are going to win or come back or do whatever the hell. Like, I've, I've tried to be as unbiased as possible and, you know, just make good quality pick-fed television for you guys. So the reason that Dolph Ziggler... Dolph Ziggler's had a good career in MDT. He's won some great matches. He's headlined some pay-per-views, had great performances and great stipulation matchups. And who knows, one day his time will come, but who knows when that will be. But I I want to know all of your thoughts down below, guys, on, on Dolph Ziggler's return. What did you think of it? Did you guys enjoy SmackDown Live? It seemed like it was an above-average show, in my opinion. I don't even know why the hell Sami Zayn's sitting here. He got defeated by Kofi. I just figured he could stick in here somewhere so the screen's not so blank with the two guys here. But Dolph Ziggler is back. It's going to be interesting to see. I think him and Kofi can have a great matchup at Super Showdown. I hate that it's going down at Super Showdown. I wish it would just be at Extreme Rules or wherever the hell. Or maybe he'll get another title opportunity. Or I, I don't know. We'll just have to see, guys. But I'm super pumped for Ziggler to be back. I don't trust WWE with it, but we'll see where it goes. But that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. I really would love to know your thoughts down in the comment section below on Dolph Ziggler and Kofi and, and the cash-in and and Super Showdown and everything in between revolving around this matchup. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.